we are going to start this wonderful subject of complex analysis so this first video we will look into like some history of complex numbers how they came and who introduced these complex numbers it's just interesting and it will like give it give us a flavor of this these numbers like ori how these numbers are origi originated so let's start with the uh, with that okay so it was this fellow cardin who introduced this square root of negative numbers not introduced he he just saw the square root of negative numbers in the year 1545 okay some 450 years back okay he he saw that there is something called square root of uh, negative numbers so he called like he saw something like this square root of minus 1 in his book ars magma this is the book where he he has like discussed about square root of negative numbers which we are calling as complex numbers this book ars magma this is supposed to be this is considered as a certificate what but certificate of the complex numbers but soon after uh, introducing something like square root of negative numbers he 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 realized that these are actually weird so he realized that he is doing something which is totally wrong which is totally useless so he discarded his complex numbers he discarded whatever he has discovered so he discarded so some after that nobody for 30 years nobody bothered and after 30 years this new fellow called bambeli in 1572 after almost 30 years he in his book li algebra he he do some calculations with he he did some calculations with this square root of negative numbers in his this book he did some calculations with square root of negative numbers but again like uh, cardin he he thought like what the hell i am doing so like this this is all wrong and these are like uh, numbers without have uh, these are numbers these are quantities without any without having any physical interpretation so he again discarded this his numbers okay so for like some 250 years for almost 250 years complex numbers were like thought as weird numbers they were given all names like impossible numbers imaginary numbers and like uh, famous and great mathematician like Leibniz in 1702 he said that Ayata is an amphibian between existence and non-existence right Even this famous mathematician uh, Euler, he in 1770 said that uh, he argued that square root of minus 2 times square root of minus 3 will be square root of 6. So complex numbers were like that puzzling. Uh, like for example, they were so puzzling that even this Euler, he argued that this statement should be true, right? So till the end of 18th century, okay, everybody was com confused with what the hell are these complex numbers. Nobody knew that what, what these entities are. So for almost in 1545, they appeared and almost up to 1800, right? So it is almost 250 years. Complex numbers, like they did not get any meaning. Complex numbers did not get any meaning, right? Then at the end of 18th century, right, these three different people sitting in different parts of the world, for example, this vessel sitting in Norway, Argon sitting in France, and Gauss sitting in Germany, right? They had this imagination. They all all three they, they said that a complex number of this form A plus Ieta B, where A and B are real, and Ieta is square root of minus one, can be thought as a point in the plane in the xy plane with cartesian coordinates as a comma b right so these three people they give this they gave this interpretation of complex numbers so they just said that if anybody is having any problem of like uh, of imagining what this number is you can just imagine this number as a point in the plane right in the plane xy plane having cartesian coordinates a and b right so basically uh, what did they say they say that they said that uh, for example if you have a number 4 plus 3 ieta you can consider it as a point in this plane xy plane this is x axis this is y axis 
so you have 1 2 3 4 so this is 4 so x coordinate is 4 and 3 iota so you have 1 plus 1 2 3 so this is your 3 so this point is actually 4 comma 3 so you can consider this point as 4 plus 3 iota as a complex number uh, 4 plus 3 iota or you can consider this 4 plus 3 iota as this vector so it's up to you either you can consider this 4 plus 3 iota at the point in the plane or a vector joining that point with the origin right for example 3 iota this is actually 0 plus 3 iota so this number is 0 x is 0 y is 3 so this is this 3 iota this point or you can treat it as this vector right and minus 7 plus iota this is this number right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 on negative x axis and 1 on positive y axis so you have this minus 7 plus iota you can treat this minus 7 plus iota as this point or as this vector any both ways are correct right and then they called this complex this plane as complex plane and they denoted it with this c right so these three people introduced this notation and when actually uh, Wessel and Argon, they were not very famous at that time when they at the end of 18th century when they introduced these notations. When they introduced these notations, like you can treat complex number as a point in the plane. So at that time, people did not agree with them. They they thought, what the hell are these people talking? So they actually rejected their interpretation. But at that time, this Gauss was at the helm of his career. So he, he has he had this big reputation as a mathematician and when he said that geometrical interpretation of complex numbers should be there then everybody like thought okay he's gauss and he must be right so at that point point people like agreed that okay complex numbers uh, do exist right okay let's see so what exactly is the story where where are we right so we started from here that in 1545 this Cadden he introduced complex numbers but then he rejected and for almost 250 years complex numbers were thought as they are useless numbers right so at the end of uh, 18th century Gauss, Argand and Wessel they introduced this note this imagination they gave this imagination of treating complex numbers as a point in the plane okay and after that this floodgates of invention opened and like uh, people started to develop this beautiful theory of how to do calculus with such numbers right we have real numbers and we know how to differentiate integrate real numbers now we had complex numbers and people wanted to know how to differentiate integrate and what are the physical interpretation and how we can use this differentiation and integration of complex numbers to deal with real problems like all sort of things like came into existence and this subject of complex analysis originated and this origin was quite rapid right this fellow Cauchy and Go uh, Riemann right they introduced this subject of complex analysis and they, they discovered all the beautiful fundamental results in the in the time period between 1814 and 1851 so it's a span of less than 40 years so you see for 250 years nobody bothered what the hell are complex numbers but in 40 years this whole subject of complex analysis was developed and it was like proved to be so useful right okay so this is the story and we want to uh, like see we want to uh, like know what are complex numbers first and then we will uh, we will go on to this analysis of complex numbers so this is a bit of story now we can move ahead in the next video we will see what are complex numbers thank you